Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we started to model deep drying of a cup as an axisymmetric process in Abacus software. In that video, we model the parts and assemble them. And in this video, we will explain how to use Abacus explicit to solve this problem. For solving this problem with Abacus explicit, at first, we should add density to the deformable part and also the mass for the rigid part, which 1 degrees of freedom is free. For this purpose, we go to the property module again and edit the property of the blank. We should add the density to the property of the blank but we should note that our units are SI millimeters and the density should be entered as tone in cubic millimeters. In the deep drying process, the position of the blank holder is controlled by a force and the degree of freedom is free, so we should assign a mass to the blank holder by a special inertia and create. We create a point mass for the blank holder. Here we should enter the mass of the blank holder and we enter the real mass of the blank holder here. And we can now continue to the step module. Now we create dynamic explicit step for modeling the deep drawing. In comparison with modeling this problem by Abacus Implicit or Abacus Standard, here only we need one step and the solution is really simple. We use automatic incrementation. We can speed up this problem by using mass scaling here or also we could use time scaling. For using time scaling, we can reduce the amount of time period and use a time period very smaller than the real time of the process. In this problem, the limit for the scaling the time is that the speed of the punch should be less than 1% of the wave speed in the material. The wave speed in the material is about 5000 and we can move the punch up to 50 meters per second. So considering that the punch movement is 50 millimeters, the time period could be even 0 0.001 but we use 0 0.01 here and solve the problem slower. Before leaving the step module, we request the history output to have the reaction force of the punch. For this purpose, we create a history output and also we create a set for the punch by picking the reference point of the punch. And then by using this set, we define reaction force of the punch as the force that is needed for forming the cup. This force can be used in choosing appropriate machine for forming of this part. Now we can go to the interaction module and define contact between parts. We define a property for the contact between die and blank, which has less friction, even we can use friction less or a small amount of friction coefficient like 0 0.05 between two metal. And also we can define another 
contact property between punch and blank with a larger friction coefficient. For example, 0 0.1. Now we can create contact between parts. We choose surface to surface contact and at first between die and blank. At first we should choose the master surface which usually is the rigid part and then the slave surface. Kinematic contact is more accurate in Abacus Explicit and it's similar to augmented Lagrange in Abacus Implicit. We use kinematic contact and contact property related to these two parts and another contact between punch and blank. One more time, surface to surface contact. We pick the punch and the yellow side and the top surface of the blank. Another time, kinematic contact, finite sliding and punch blank contact property. The last contact is between holder and blank. We choose the holder and the yellow side and the top surface of the blank. And the similar setting and die blank property. The interaction is complete now and we go to the load module. In load module, we should define the displacement of all rigid parts. For the die, all degrees of freedom is fixed during the analysis and we can use a caster. Then we create boundary condition for the holder. The holder is fixed along x direction and also it cannot rotate around the three direction but it's free in the y direction and in the y direction we apply a concentrated force to the holder. The position of the holder is controlled by a force in this process. The force is downward and in the y direction. After that we should define the displacement of the punch. The punch is also fixed in the x direction and cannot rotate around z direction and we should apply the mo movement of the punch here which is 50 millimeters and we cannot apply all the movement instance than use and we should use an amplitude. The best amplitude for the explicit procedure is a smooth and we enter 0, 0 which means at the beginning displacement is 0 and at the end of the step the displacement become 50 millimeters. The amplitude will be multiplied by the amount of displacement at any time. Now we could continue our modeling by going to the mesh module. For meshing the blank, we use four elements along the thickness of the blank to have accurate results. Therefore, we use mesh edge and set the size of the mesh along this line to be 0 0.2. We also define a global mesh size for the blank as 1 mm and then assign element type to the blank. Element type is explicit, axisymmetric stress and we use linear 
elements which are more suitable for modeling contact and the settings down now and mesh the part here is our mesh and now we can create a job and run the problem please watch our next video for investigating the results plotting the force and animating the deformation of the cup thank you for watching this video if this video has helped you out please let us know by a like a comment or a subscribe see you in the next video